Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. A woman's inner nature influences her sexual desire. Uh, inner nature, her inner nature. See, here's the thing, all women want sex, but they don't want sex in the same way. When I say her sexual desire, I mean in terms of the type of man she desires. Now, yeah, women, yeah, they get into looks, but what type of look does he represent? It, and I said this in my book, A Player's Eyes, it ain't so much his looks as it is the look. What does his look say about him to her? What does he represent? And that, that includes more than just his basic biology, but how is he dressed? How is he carrying himself? For those who don't know, that's just, uh, you know, street lingo, especially from DC, about how is he presenting himself? Is he walking like he owns the world? Is he walking like he has low self-esteem? Is he walking like a boss? Is he walking like a follower? Things of that nature. And what does it say about him? Now, when I say inner nature, it influences what she wants. Now, it could be like one basic one is, hey, it could be just pure lust. Her inner nature could be just hypersexual. Oh, she wants that good good. She wants that good D, you know, and she's not thinking about much else from a man. For whatever reason, maybe she doesn't need much else. Maybe that's what she wants the most. Uh, that's when she wants, you know, that guy who look like he can satisfy her sexually. He typically is going to uh, be physically attractive to her. And I don't mean just in his face. I got to head that off his entire body. She's having sex with his entire body. She's licking on his body. It's his, it's his penis going in and out of her, making her holler. It's his arms that are picking her up and moving her around. So a woman's looking at everything. And yes, the face included, but I'm just saying the whole package. So it's more about how much he can, uh, one, physically look like he can like satisfy her, and then in his behavior, how he's carrying himself, like he would uh, tear her up. But it, that's because her inner nature is more on the sexual side, more on the fun side. She wants that D. She, she wants that D and she wants it good. She ain't caring about much else because her inner nature, you know, uh, urban vernacular, they might say she a freak. And you get some women like that. They just more, they were just more uninhibited sexually. I all, you know, let me let me address something because somebody said on a video uh, comments about 99% of women being sexually repressed. And the number's closer to 40. The number's closer to 40. Most women are out here ready to go. They are out here ready to go because a sexually repressed woman will dress a certain way. But when you have a woman out here you know, she's wearing things that will definitely draw a man's attention to. It's not stylish. It's like that showing off her body. That's not repression. And the more she does that, the more she wants that man on a pure sexual level. That's her inner nature. That's that woman, even if she was wearing um, a business suit, she got thongs underneath. She might have her nipples pierced underneath, you know? She might have that tram stamp on, the, on her lower back. Some is going to give an indication of how she rolling. But that's her nature. That's influence. But see, that's just one thing that influences a woman. You know, a woman could be influenced by the type of man who is a good daddy figure. She's more, she's more, she's more in that mommy mode. She wants to have babies. She wants to be a mommy. She got that motherly instinct. The type of man that's going to really appeal to her is the type of man who not only would give her babies, but actually be that good family man. And in his look, how he carries himself, he looked like, he got that daddy look. And not in a sexual sense. He looked like, oh yeah, he, could, he can pop out a decent looking baby and be around to take care of it. And that even affects the body build too. Let me let me hit y'all on some quick stuff. 
if a you know when they were talking about that whole dad bod thing that was some real stuff that was some real stuff because if a man that's why a lot of women go crazy over because they they have a maternal instinct so a woman with a maternal instinct a maternal inner nature automatically looks for a man with a paternal uh, nature so she might encounter that super fine dude that super attractive dude, but he coming off, he coming off uh, just as somebody who just want to have fun. He don't come off as that type who'd be good with kids. She's not going to be turned on the same way. She is not. Or you can get another woman, she's more materialistic. And not in the sense of being an acculturated prostitute or just getting a man with money. She could be more business orientated. She that type of woman, shoot, she don't even want kids. And she don't want to have fun. You got some women out there, they work a bees. You know, they trying to make money. They business women. You know, she might encounter that the, like paternal type. She's like, nah, he just wants to sit home and like barbecue. They ain't her. Oh, she could encounter that party type. Now she might look at him, hey, he fine, but she might be like, mm. she still might be like, mm. but she get that guy and you know, they talking. It's like, wait a minute, he got that hustle vibe. He look like that hustler. Like he gonna go out there and get that money. Like he trying to build something. Like he wants that big old house in the suburbs. He wants that, like those fancy cars. She's gonna be turned on. Now that's a tricky one right there because a lot of times if a man encounters that woman, he's thinking automatic gold digger. But if she got that money, she look, if she already got her own money, shoot, she's trying to build. She's thinking power couple or something like that. It's that thing that turns her on. And then here's an interesting one that turns on women. A very interesting one. I probably need to do a separate video on it because it's a powerful piece. That woman who's in her nature is actually more spiritual. See, the material woman or the lustful woman, they ain't, they ain't necessarily overly spiritual. They can have, you know, they can go to some church, temple, synagogue, circle in the woods, pumpkin patch or something like that, right? But she ain't overly spiritual. They'll show up. You got, you got plenty of people who show up to spiritual institutions and they just doing it because it's a cultural thing that they were used to growing up. They ain't feeling anything. And then you get, uh, you know, that's one. And then the more materialistic people, they ain't about all the spiritual. They shoot. They just dealing with whatever's going on. But then if her inner nature is spiritual, she'll go for that guy who look like he's spiritual. So she might meet that guy, you know what? He listen to Ron's body game videos. He got that hunk look, he got that F boy look. But she's she looking at him. He's like, no, nah, he don't look spiritual at all. And in fact, this is a big, this is a big thing in, on spiritual paths that aren't mainstream. This is a big thing. You know, you get that dude who like, um, you know, he, he's wearing like those beads and he got his hair out. Uh, you know, got it here in locks. You know, he talking about herbal tea. He talking about meditation. He about to go to a yoga class. You know, he's doing the more spiritual side of Tai Chi. Oh, that's gonna drive a woman crazy. He got the symbols. You know, he got the onk on. You know, he might have uh, some initiation, some initiation beads uh, from, uh, from the Yoruba path, <laughs> some, you know, he might be totally new agey. He talking about, you know, he meet her, he talking about, he all peaceful, talking about, yeah, let me do some energy work on you or something. That will get a lot of women. And I just use one example, but if you pay attention to a lot of women, especially uh, if you pay attention to cults or churches or temples, they tend to have a lot of women. And the guy can look like whatever. Now, if he's conventionally handsome, that's better, but, you know, he'll have some women and they're getting into what he's talking about spiritually because their nature is more spiritual. So that's what turns them on more. See, here's the bottom line with everything I'm saying. Women want to have sex, but it's, di it's on different levels and different things trigger them. I've talked about this before. And what triggers them depends on their nature. Not even about, like, their uh, imprint or anything. That plays a part. But what's their ultimate nature? Because even their nature will influence who they deal with. Even their nature, who they might get imprinted by. You know, if they that type, say they in an area, a rough area, and they just want that straight sex. Oh, well, okay, that, that you know, that, that dude who look a certain way. You know, got those conventional looks, body build, everything. 
or turn on. But was she raised in a church? And most of her free time is spent around that type of guy. I've seen this with women I've known for decades. I, and with, especially when I knew them back in high school, they all married a guy or got pregnant by or dealt with men who, re, who represented that nature. I've known several, I've known several. I keep up with a lot of people, especially through Facebook. And it was just like, no, you know, I ain't surprised she married him. That was her. Cause that's a way, seriously. And I've talked about that other, otherwise. You can tell something about a woman's nature in her nature by who she finds attractive. Same thing with men, really. Same thing. Look at who somebody find attractive. You can truly attractive, not just physically attractive, but truly attractive. Now it's more with women because they look at more than just the physical. So this is very important. This is very important. This is very important. So anyway, though, anyway, always keep all of this in mind. So anyway, this is all I have for now and get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.